Game changer. I got out of my comfort zone. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Hey everyone. Okay, so it's finally time for March favorites and unfavorites. First, absolute biggest favorite, life changer favorite. Okay, don't get too excited. Spring forward. Oh, oh, oh. That happened this month, right? It was like earlier this month, right? This month has felt really long for me. It's been a little crazy. There's been a lot that has happened. But Spring Forward was the best thing ever. I, I know that I've talked to you guys before about how a grief stricken I become whenever we fall back. Like I hate that. I hate when it gets dark early. And the first Monday after we sprang forward, sprang forward, I like saying that, and it was light outside when I was coming home from work, I was just like filled with bursting joy. I probably shouldn't ramble on and on about this because hopefully you just feel me, but it's just, honestly, I'm just gonna do my little magical moment for March right now, that was it. I mean, I did other magical things, but it's just like, game changer. Ugh. I also have like no concept of time where like I forget that it's gonna happen and like things can be better. Moving on. Eyeshadow favorites for the month. Um, I don't know what compelled me to buy these exactly. I think it was like a buy one get one half off and I was like just bored in Walgreens honestly because I do that. Um, these are both just basic Maybelline single shadows and I have linen and constant toast. Um, let me take a second to just tell you how much I love the name constant toast. I don't even know. This one's a very coppery color and this one is just kind of like a creamy whitish off-white color. This one's not totally matte which I thought that it was and that disappointed me a little bit but this month has been pretty bad for me as far as like being able to put myself to bed. It's not that I like have insomnia and can't sleep or something like that. Like once I lay down I'm gone. I'm asleep. It's amazing but actually wrangling myself to the point where I'll get in bed it's a problem. I'm not so good at it. I just like get bursts of energy at night and want to stay up until two o'clock in the morning, which makes it hard to wake up in the morning. And so I developed a very quick and easy eyeshadow look that's like good for during the day and I actually can kind of play it up a little bit at night. It's still a pretty soft look. I have it on my eye today. Um, and it's involving just these two shadows. Of course, I do have like the liner black shadow as well, but it's just these two shadows and it's super easy to do and they blend together really nicely. I could totally do like a super easy everyday eyeshadow eye tutorial or whatever. Would you wanna see that? I like these two shadows. I mean, obviously you could do it with these colors and other brands. I've just found that these work really well together. My next favorite is this nail polish by Color Club. I got this in my scratch box and I did an unboxing um, and it's just the prettiest color ever. I have it on my nails now, except my nails are pretty chipped. Color Club doesn't stay on your nails forever, like Wet n Wild Megalass, my favorite brand of nail polish, but this color is just, I don't know, I'm just like fascinated by it, and I don't have a Wet n Wild one that looks like this color. It's just shimmery, but not glittery, and there's kind of like purpley green tones, as well as just like the dark navy color. I love it. I've been enjoying it so much since it's been on my nails and I didn't even tell you the name of it. It's Williamsburg and this is just a mini and I don't I don't even know where people get Color Club. I've always ordered it online so I don't know. I'm just kind of very into this color which of course it's like oh spring! Spring's my favorite thing! And then I talk about like a dark navy blue polish. I have no rules in my life. It is what it is. Next favorite is a long time forever favorite. Uh, it's the Physician's Formula Bronze Booster Bronzer and I get it in medium to dark even though I'm not really medium to dark. I just love this color. I've actually never tried the lighter one. I probably should but I've been using this bronzer for years. If you've been watching me for a long time you've probably seen it in a ton of tutorials. I just love it. It's not super heavy. It's not matte but it's not sparkly either. It kind of like just flirts between that line because if you go too matte it can look gross and dirty and flat and weird. If you go super sparkly that's equally wrong in my opinion. This is just kind of like a nice compromise and I ran out of it this month and I tried to go without it and I was like oh yeah I don't need to run out and go get that I'm just gonna use up a different one which of course there are other bronzers that I like but I've become so attached to this one I like couldn't stand it after I think it was like a week like I had to go get it because it's just 
I'm attached. If you're looking for a new bronzer and you don't want to spend big bucks and you don't know where to go, whatever, give this one a try. Next favorite is another forever longtime favorite, like Hall of Fame, Holy Grail. Um, it's the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer, and I've talked about this for years as well. It's an amazing primer. It is absolutely my Holy Grail primer. It's super expensive, which sucks a lot. You guys know how obsessed I am with finding great stuff at the drugstore and you know like making the look with products that don't cost a million dollars but this one is just one that I cannot argue with. My older sister turned me on to it which she uses fancy makeup all the time. That's how I got pulled into the whole hourglass thing and I'm kind of just a general sucker for hourglass all the time. And uh, more than anything it's not like it keeps you matte or whatever or like decreases redness because it's just kind of clear. It has a pump. It's just you don't smell anything. It doesn't feel super slick, like super silicone. It's just like weightless and wonderful. And you put it on, you let it set, then you put on your makeup. It makes your makeup go on better. And then it keeps it looking better for longer. This is another one of those things that I like, my love was reconfirmed because I ran out of it. The other primers do work, absolutely. But this one just, there's something about it. It, just, it works better. It works best for me. They actually sell a tiny size too, so you don't have to actually spend a billion dollars and get the big one, but it's worth a try. Or just get a sample at Sephora. That's always an option. Um, this one's an oddball. You might not be expecting this one because ever since I've been doing YouTube, I've always been like, I don't get what people see in candles. Why is everyone obsessed with candles? Because a lot of beauty channels talk about candles and stuff like that, and it just never ever made sense to me or something. I don't know, I was just like, I don't, I don't care about a candle at all. You can't pay me to care about a candle. But this is a moment of note. Look what's in my hand. It's a candle. Um, I was shopping at HEB, which is a Texas grocery store, and randomly I saw this candle. It's a Hershey's milk chocolate with almonds scented candle. And I smelled it and it smells like chocolate. It smells so good and I'm in love with it and I bought it. I mean, it wasn't like super expensive or anything. It was like $9 or something, but it smells so good and I'm just into it. It doesn't smell like fake. It, it really smells like chocolate. It's weird. I don't know if it's going to smell different though. If the lighter brown part doesn't smell as good, I'm going to be very disappointed. But for now, I love it and I felt like it was a moment of note and I needed to include you guys to show you. I bought a candle! Next favorite is a movie favorite. It's the Grand Budapest Hotel, the newest Wes Anderson movie. And I am just as obsessed with it as I thought I would be. Like, honestly, like when the trailer for this movie came out, I like, well, I knew beforehand that I was like waiting for the day the trailer would come out. And I was so excited, like woke up in the morning. It was like the first thing I did before work, before everything. It was surprisingly hilarious. Not that his other movies aren't funny, but this one was like next level funny. Visually, it was just everything I could have wanted and more as usual, but it just like, uh, I loved it. I totally loved it. A million thumbs up. If you like Wes Anderson even this much, I think you'll love that movie. Go see it. Even if you don't, even if you don't know who he is, go see it. Just go see it. And my last favorite is a TV show. It's True Detective. It's an HBO series that just ended a couple of weeks ago. And once again, I was late on that fan train. And it was just the first season, but I had missed like the first few episodes and I watched them all in one day. It was just like, I could not get enough. And then, you know, I watched throughout the rest of the season and it was so good. It's Matthew McConaughey and Woody Harrelson, literally like you've never seen them before. Everything about this, I can't, I can't say enough about how much I love this show. It's so interesting. Um, well, side note, if you are like a small child or something, you might not get into this show. Your parents might not want you to watch it. It's pretty dark. There are some graphic things that happen and I'm, it's not for children. It is what it is. I can't tell you what to do, but just saying. But it's amazing. I like, you know, dark, gritty, kind of scary things. So this was right up my alley. It was seriously, ugh. It's so good. Like, I was so sad when it ended just because I just wanted more and like, there was no way that I could like deal with the finale or, or say like, yeah, I love the finale. I think they wrapped it up really well just because I didn't want it to end. I don't know. I feel like it could have ended in different ways. There were a couple of questions that I had, but overall that show, I can't wait for season two. Can't wait, can't wait, but I know I have to. Good thing Mad Men is starting in April. Oh, oh, so excited so excited and so sad at the same time. Let's not talk about it. We'll talk about it next month.
okay? And now, very quickly, an unfavorite. This is the Alme Long Wear and Waterproof Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. You know my standby is the Neutrogena Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover or like the generic versions of that. It works for me. I use waterproof mascara and I use other pretty water resistant mascaras and so I do need help getting those things off. Um, it was out. I couldn't find it at CVS and so I had to substitute something and I bought this. And you can see I use the whole thing because that's what I do um, because it works but it's just not great. I was totally disappointed. It's definitely not a good substitute for that. Um, it kind of stung my eyes and the other one doesn't ever do that. And it, I don't know, it just felt like it took more work. So basically I'm comparing it to my usual favorite. So obviously I'm not gonna like it as much. Well, actually I didn't assume that. I was like, hey, maybe this one's just as good. I just keep buying that one because I know it works. And um, I got out of my comfort zone and I regretted it. Okay, so that's everything. If you had a magical moment in March, I would like to hear about it. I love knowing more about you guys because you guys get to hear about me. We need to kind of make this a two-way thing. It makes me happy. So comment down below. You can also ask me questions if you have some. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, and Google+. It's Leanne Says Everywhere. I also have those links down below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I love to have you back again and again because I'm always putting out new videos. And if you're already subscribed, I appreciate you guys so much. You are my people and I love you. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye everyone! It's exciting. Maybe. Most unfavorite things, whatever. I'm kind of a child in that way. Samples are very nice. <laughs> it's way less expensive than the Beauty Blender and I'm a fan of the Beauty Blender. Um, and so I wanted to see how this works. I've heard good things. I think I might've smashed it in the package. Um, it's shaped different, so I'm interested in that.